we have the bronze course and the silver course. Oh, so okay. they do that. And then the silver course comes with monthly Zoom meetings where you come okay. and you join the Zoom call, everyone chats together. We have Facebook groups where they can go on and chat to other students. So I've had like students meet up and like do the training together and like quiz each other and stuff. And it's that's, really like becoming a little community, which is amazing. And that's the silver. Yes. That's the silver. And then? So what I recommend to anyone who asks is if you are wanting to learn more about the industry, if yes. you want to kind of decide whether you want to do yachting or not, then do the bronze course because that tells you like where to go, what the seasons are, how to dress, how to do interviews, how to do your CV, um, all of those things. But <laughs> bless you. Me. Bless you. Um, but and then the silver actually takes you into the details of the job. Yes. So then that takes you into the top 10 cocktails, how to turn down a cabin, um, all the different services, floral arrangements, napkin foldings. And so it actually trains you how to do the job. I always say the bronze is good if you're not sure whether you want to get into yachting. Yes. If you know you want to get into yachting, then go with the silver. And can you figure out very quickly from the personality whether a candidate is maybe not made for the job or... Is it possible that someone, for example, doing the bronze and not sure whether, hmm, is this really something for me? Can you train someone maybe, as you said, you need to have thick skin. And um, mm. the, the example you mentioned, uh, waking up at seven and although you have night shift, you are how many hours on your feet? Whether yeah. someone can really go through that. Do you, do, you, do you find, do you figure out quickly such people or are you also able to say, well, I can shape you to make you ready to be the kind? And that's, yeah, and that's exactly what we're doing with the silver courses okay. is giving people like the reality of, you know, of what this industry is about because it's not easy and, not you know, that I always say to people sometimes, you know, they'll message me and they'll be like, oh, where can I get this done or what's this or blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, if you can't get onto Google and search for something like this for yourself, like you can't have your mother holding your hand through this industry, you know. I want to help you as much as I can, but you also need to be showing me, your chief stew, your captain, that you have that initiative and you can go and do things yourself because you're sometimes you're in another country, like, I remember my first season, I was in Italy and the captain goes, oh, we need flowers for the charter tomorrow. Can you go and grab some? And I'm like, yes. you, I can't turn around and go, where do I go? How do it's, I pay? Yes. How do I like get them yes. back to the boat? What do I like? They don't want yeah. that. Yeah. And it's really hard because, you know, then you walk away and you're like, I have no idea how to say yeah. flowers in Italian. I kept saying the police station accidentally. So I kept getting sent to the police station and, you know, it's frustrating and it's hard, but that's how you learn is to be uncomfortable. And I think that if you go through your whole life and you're never in uncomfortable situations, you're not living it, you know? Yes, yes. yes. And you will bring some of the, yeah, some of the greatest experiences I've had in my life stemmed from me being in a really uncomfortable position. I believe you. And then, as you mentioned, you, you don't just have to work with what you're crew members are expecting or wanting from you or the captain saying this and this you can't just say no it's not possible you have to also work with the guests and there yes. are difficult guests and there are vips who have mm. a big ego and you have yeah. to work out that too so the balance is not easy isn't it? and you train them to get there yes and uh, my dream with um with the academy is to turn it into face-to-face. -face. Yeah. So once COVID calms down and everything like that, then I'm really hoping to open like a stewardess training school in the south of France and in Florida um, and do the the face-to-face -face training. Wow, wow, big goals. Well, there's never been a more exciting time to be alive. I mean, the the yes, there's, climate issues, there's energy issues, there's uh, 
economic disparity, but we're also on the verge of major abundance. We're uh, unleashing major technological transformation to the planet that could lead to abundance. If it's handled right politically, it'll be a deeper, more enriched human experience for people. Um, and, you know, so you're, you're on the cusp of cleaner energy. You're on the cusp of transformative technologies like the one you and I are using right now to speak to each other from yes. around the world. Yes. And, and so there's never been a better time to be alive, but I think it's also very important for people to always be learning. And so I tell younger people, take risks. I tell younger people to not be embarrassed if something goes wrong. Yes. Um, to embrace that part of your life. In fact, if anything, if you're not failing at a few things, you're probably not trying hard enough. And, you know, there's a very famous American comedian. Uh, he's now 95 years old. His name is Mel Brooks. And so when I was growing up, he did some very funny movies, Young Frankenstein and Blazing Saddles. And uh, these were very humorous, very funny movies. He's now 95. He lives in Los Angeles. But he said something many years ago that I often repeat to young people. And, you know, it's something I try to live by. And I'll tell you what it is. He says, relax. None of us are getting out of here alive. So just relax. The point being, you know, you're, you're here on a journey. And, uh, yes, um, that's nice. And, yes. so, and so, you know, your parents are going to make mistakes. Don't overly blame them. They're probably trying the best that they yes. can. Yes. If you're coming from a bad situation, um, and you can focus on the future, well, that was your past. If you yes. don't live in the past, then you won't live with levels of depression. You know, you have your future and if you have your health, focus on your present and your future. You no, see what I mean? In the present. Don't be overly anxious about the future either because it's not here yet. You don't have to worry about what's coming because you have today. You can enjoy today. You know, you know I'm going to paraphrase, but you know, Eastern philosopher Lao Tzu, he said, if we spend too much time thinking about our past, then we have regrets because, of course, we made mistakes. So don't think too much about it. You know, you'll, you'll be filled with depression. If you're worried too much about your future, future and what the future is coming, then you'll be filled with anxiety. Why do that to yourself? Focus on today. Focus on the fact that you're going to be able to hopefully have a few meals and you're going to meet with some friends and you've got an idea that you're hopefully going to advance and see if you can grow your business or your art, artistry, your creativity, whatever it may be. And relax because, you know, none of us are getting out of here alive. Relax. Beautiful message. Beautiful message. So what's next on the horizon? What's next for you? Well, listen, I want to grow my business. Uh, we have a struggle in uh, American politics right now. There's a specter of nationalism. There's, a, there's some levels of anger about economic disparity and some unfairness in the society. There's a, a cultural struggle going on in America right now. And, you know, I didn't, I accidentally got into politics. I was more into politics because of my business career. And then I ended up going to work for Mr. Trump. And so it thrusted me more into politics. But, you know, I want to grow my business, but also be a part of that political discourse and yes. part of that political conversation. Yeah, interesting. Well, besides my bathroom collection, faucet and porcelain and whatever, I did a new uh, children's uh, toy collection. Yes. And actually, what I wanted to mention, because you said you, you've been designing a lot for interior children. Have you ever thought, especially here in this, in this region, um, about going into residential um, line, like urban living, you know, sustainable yes. urban living, urban yes. development. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, I'm. I would love to to do that. Also, designing apartments or yes, exactly. The design of of little hotels or hotels yes. or, or something like this, um, because it's also a nice story. You could make it real 
royal living or having your own modern castle, saying yes. like that, and yes. it's designed by a true princess. Yes. Um, yes. So if there's anybody out there who's planning apartment houses, hotels, or whatever. That's why I'm mentioning that. <laughs> That's why I'm mentioning that, because Asia is the future. And it's growing with building and, and, and all these high-rise buildings. And, and what I love on Asia is that it's so innovative, you know. Uh, you can do so many things there. And it's open also for um, innovative, modern and exactly. sustainable building. And there exactly. are so great materials that you can use nowadays. Yes. Um, yes. You, you can design what, what, what my coming back to this question what was important and, and unique in my designs is i want to do uh, designs that are chic modern sexy and sustainable you and know sustainable before, yes exactly because what you when you were thinking before of ecological collections you know it yes. was like you know they, they looked like grandma's style you know they no. have no and um, nothing and this, this is not necessary. You can this do other necessary. trendy things and products, but having an ethic and being vegan and being um, sustainable, you know? This is also a wonderful misconception you've just unraveled. Exactly. To be um, <laughs> ethic and, 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 and uh, ecological doesn't have to be boring and, and, no. and uh, for grandma. It can be glamorous, it can be modern, young, trendy, and... Uh, yeah, exactly. This is the message. Who knows? Maybe someone will listen and tune in and yeah. there will be a potential partner. How okay. does the collaboration look like if someone wants to collaborate you in urban development? Well, just get in contact uh, with me. And normally I'm working on a licensee base uh, so that um, I'm doing the designs um, by, all by myself, 100%. And um, that we uh, that um, I give my license so the people are allowed to use my brand name, Princess Maya from Honsan, which, by the way, uh, my products are in 80 countries in the world. Um, so, so it's international in, in many countries and markets um, introduced, which is positive and gives a lot of uh, synergy effects to yes. product ranges. And um, yeah, of course, um, I also bring a lot of PR power with me. Yes. And, uh, so this is yes. also something that that um, the partners I'm working with are participating in because um, if media reports about the product and what we are doing and the work and the ethic and the story behind, then this is a great support in making uh, the product range successful. Well, I'm, I'm still talking about and, and promoting my book, which is wonderful. It's just recently come out in paperback. So, oh, thank there we you. are. <laughs> thank you. Julie. Wonderful, wonderful book with lots I, of practical examples. I'm hopeful when I come to Singapore later this year that I'll be yes. doing a few book events. Um, and I was quite wonderful. lucky in that Sony bought the rights to it. So they are oh. developing a series on it. And um, so I'm working on that. So it's wow. very- Wow, congratulations. And I'm writing now a children's version. So I'm working on a children's version. That's, oh, so many good news. That's wonderful. Well, thank you. Thank you, wonderful. Julia. Thank you for this opportunity. This has been just lovely. Well, I hope I will see you in person in, in November. I hope so. Yeah. Well, I guess if you had asked me that two years ago, I would have never told you I would be doing videos like this. So I don't even predict anything anymore. But I will tell you that um, I would like to write again. Oh, would you I, love that? Yes, I would like to write again. But um, I've already written two etiquette books. And I know. And I have I them. Well, thank you. Sure? Um, I'd love to sign it for you one day. I would love to. And you are a natural writer. You should really write the next book. Really. Well, thank you. And, and to be very honest with you, and it's going to surprise a lot of etiquette consultants, but I don't even know if people really want to know how to hold a teacup. I really don't know if, I, uh, if that's what I want to write about. I, I have written about etiquette. And 
I feel and beyond, that beyond you write beyond etiquette. Really, I people have to read your book to understand what you actually tackle. And as you mentioned at the beginning, that's beyond etiquette. That's really life skills no one should miss. And your book, and even if you write a new edition, Jacqueline, I think that would be great. Well, maybe I should do a poll and ask people what they're interested yes. in. Because yes. I don't think they're interested in learning how to hold a teacup. Maybe they are. <laughs> You, but, but you um, write more than that. You write more than that. And I think both. that I, uh, I am at um, a different point in my life where there are other things that mean more to me. Um, not that etiquette it doesn't. Etiquette's very important. Soft skills, people skills, they're all important. But like you said, there's a different level yes. of that that I'm interested in. And it's the relationship building. Yes. It's, that's what it really is. It's how to, and also it's how to live more peacefully, more elegantly, um, because I did not grow up in a wealthy family. Yeah. I am not wealthy now. I mean, I, I have, I have a very comfortable home, but I, have made the best of my situation, my circumstances. And I think you can take wherever you live in. Yes. It doesn't matter if you live in a big home or a small home, you can take what you have and still make it comfortable and elegant and uh, stress-free as much as you possibly can. And um, those things appeal to me, living, um, living a, a more elegant life, I suppose. Yes. Yes, what's next now, Laura? Here in Milano, with Milan Fashion Campus, what's next is that we are you know, again promoting the courses here in Milano yes. because the, situa the situation is going bad, okay? Uh, the people are receiving the vaccine and, and um, it's, it's better. I don't want to, but it's going too bad, okay? So um, we are promoting, we are promoting again our courses in Milano. But in the meantime, we are also starting to have collaborations with fashion schools abroad around the world with the online platform. Oh. That means we give we give our our package of our courses to other schools around the world. Okay. We create. Oh, the, yes. What the are the courses? What are the, for example? So, so yes, we have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have some um, fashion design courses of women. Yes. Accessory design, lingerie, and beachwear, oh. and um, uh, what was their fashion buying? And now we are launching the digital, some digital fashion marketing. Okay, someone who wants to promote uh, fashion styling courses for men and women. Italian fashion buying, if someone wants to buy made in Italy, you know, okay. uh, we are doing some, um, such a kind of chamo courses. You can buy these courses online anytime you want. You have the possibility to complete these courses roughly in one month, but you have one year time to complete the course, okay? That's flexible. That's yes, flexible. flexible, yeah. And uh, as I tell you, we are promoting you know, this, you know, the, the, this platform, giving this platform at disposal to other schools, okay? Where their students, they can uh, you know, obtain these courses with a special price. Yes. And, and, uh, and so we you know, give this you know, knowledge to other schools, okay, yeah. to, to, to co make collaborations, okay? Yeah, yeah. It's this is the yeah. It's important you mention because I think many think they can either do uh, women's uh, wear or men's wear, but you mentioned you can do also accessory course, lingerie course, uh, yes. trend, trend forecaster. Yes, I forgot, yes, yes. Trend, trend forecasting. Exactly. Yes. And, yes, because and what about people who just write about fashion, like fashion bloggers? Fashion bloggers, I think it can be now the new, the new digital, digital for fashion. Of uh, course, this could yeah. be yes, because this can be uh, um, because also here you have to be creative. You be you have to be able to use your handy phone because, as you know, now everything is on fingertips. You know, in the handy phone, and so we teach you how to use. Uh, how to maximize your 
uh, diciamo, your handy phone, the skills for the social, but to create content, how to create the content. Exactly, to create because, content, yes. Yes, because there are so many tools, okay. And so this is more for some creation of the content. Later on, we will have the strategy course also for the digital marketing, yes. how to strategy, some, how to go out, okay. Exactly. And there are a lot of, some, of, lot of really interesting courses that we are some, uh, uh, now going to push inside this platform. It will be not only creative design or styling, but also other, some other type of digital courses. Yes, yeah. and, and also it's huge. You have so many possibilities to Absolutely. enter into the fashion industry with your courses. Yeah. Yeah. No immediate plans. I have to get into speaking of resilience, realizing that I'm now vaccinated, as is my husband, and I'm going to be able to see uh, family in other places soon, which is my biggest plan. Yes. Professionally, to continue in painting and teaching. Wonderful. And you love, you love doing that. I do. Yeah. I love both, actually. I really do. One is not a, a refuge from the other. It's uh, okay. parallel love.